speaker is Raven Bowen, former executive director and longtime sex worker activist here in Vancouver. This is my PR friend. <laughs> This decision, as an academic, I'm somebody who does research in this particular um, area, specifically on victimization. And one of the biggest things about this decision in uh, the, the courts was how much attention they paid to the evidence. And that is such a crucial thing moving forward because that's how we can actually determine what's really happening. We're moving beyond rhetoric, moving beyond moral judgments about different things. We're looking at how does the evidence actually say. And can we move forward with evidence-based strategies to actually target when harm and exploitation are actually occurring? So the question about trafficking, for example. I mean, that's what we automatically get, oh, it's going to be a big trafficking hub in, in, in Canada now. This is, this is so far from the truth, we can't even begin to uh, start responding to it. If you look at the only country in the world that has actually decriminalized sex work, and that's New Zealand, it, which was now done almost six years ago, there's been no increase in trafficking. There's been no increase in the number of sex workers who are working on the streets or indoors. What there has been is improved relationships between police and sex workers, much more recognition of the fact that people have rights, even if they don't work in more traditional occupations. And so this can speak to a lot of different groups out there who are marginalized and criminalized, and it just echoes the fact that we all have these rights. So I'm just thrilled from a very academic opinion. <laughs> Again, for the media, uh, the speaker was uh, Tamara O'Doherty. Um, uh, Tamara is a doctoral student at SFU in criminology. What about my <laughs> <laughs> And you're an MA student at SFU in criminology. Hello. <laughs> Uh, please feel free to um, interview our panelists or anyone else who cares to talk with you. Thank you very much.